hello youtube family so today we are going to discuss about the kyao interface in java in prior videos we have discussed about various topics such as array list linked list stacks we did some questions as well on stacks created our own linked list implementation so before moving on to this topic i recommend you all to check out the, those prior videos so that you have a better understanding of the concepts that are going on so let's get started so basically the kyao interface of java provides the functionality of kyao data structure okay the classes that implement the kyao data structure are um, array dq list linked list as well as priority queue since our kyao is an interface in java so we do not have a direct implementation of it so we need to use these three classes that implement the kyao data structure okay so lastly we had studied about stack data structure so what is the principle of stack data structure is last in first out okay the element that is inserted at the last is the first one to be removed whereas in the queue it is first in first out the element that is to be inserted at the first element that comes is the first one to get priority okay matlab it's the first one that is being removed okay so now the interfaces that extends your queue is the deck interface the blocking queue as well as the blocking deck interface okay so this is the way in which your queue works in this deletions are from one end as well as insertions are from another end so deletions are from front as well as insertions are from rear okay that means if you want let us say we are adding some certain elements see okay 9 10 okay so we would be having two reference variables one would be head and other would be a rear okay so what that means is deletions from head means that when we want to delete uh, any element so the element that is at this at the front would be removed and our head would point from this to another okay similarly if this element needs to be removed we would be doing something of this kind so what if we want to add an element so addition are also also occur from rear end so for example let us say we want to add 20 so 20 would be come here and instead of now rear this new rear would be this so in this way your queue works okay so now let us understand certain methods of this queue there are certain methods that is add offer element peak remove and pull so what is the difference between them so the add since the name indicates that it is used to add the elements into the stack but if the task is not successful if it does not if it cannot add elements to the stack it would throw an exception whereas it would only return false in the case of offer it deals the same these two work in the same way same as element and peak and remove and pop element would throw an exception whereas peak would not throw an exception remove would throw an exception whereas pull would not throw an exception okay guys so now in our coding it would be more simplified we would be getting a more advanced version of how these or in depth version of how these tasks are performed in java okay so let's check out the so talking of our code i had made a simple class with the name queue interface so now i would be doing queue of integer is equal to new see three options linked list priority queue and array deck there would be a doubly linked list in this case 
so we would be going with the linked list okay q dot add 12 q dot add okay so if we want to uh, get or if we want to remove some some element so we can do Q dot remove we can see it would be removing 12 if you want to print this Q it would be of this kind okay so if we do if we repeatedly do this method so your remove element would throw an exception see no such element exception but in if we had a done uh, poll if we had done q dot poll so it would be returning null see see guys it is returning you null values okay same is with your peak also uh, you can do pick so at first your 12 see if you do cow dot remove and now your because your cow becomes 33 and 45 so that is why it is the topmost element and this is showing you the topmost element okay so now since this queue is made from a linked list class we can also have a, our own implementation for that case do you remember that once we had made this class of my linked list class when we were creating our dealing with our linked list programs so those of you who haven't checked this video yet I recommend you to check this video so that you have a deeper understanding of how we had made this class okay so there was a static class node and some methods to remove data uh, to check whether the list is empty or not to peak data insert a node print this list okay so now we don't want to go by this util package we want to make our own uh, implementation for this so i am using a new class i am creating a new class in the same package of q so i want um, i want to extend this node of this linked list class okay guys see it has imported linked list dot my linked list class dot node see it has implemented this one linked list own of my linked list class of class node simple so we have two point two reference variables head and rear simple so we want two operations why because to add elements to q the operation is called nq and to delete elements from q the operation is called dq okay so to add elements we will do public uh, void in q int data and we would be making a method to delete also the public int dq uh, so now what needs to be done see if this should be private if our head is null corner cases are to be taken a lot of care and i always recommend you all 
to first go with the corner cases because at this time at the time of coding we generally tend to forget our corner cases and some fatal exceptions occur okay so if our head is null so head would be rear would be data no not data because this is our node so we have to create a node it's equal to new node uh, data head and rear would be temp if this is null simply return from here else while if our head is not null so we would be doing rear dot next is equal to temp and rear would be rear dot next simple so that was your in queue operations so now in dq operation what needs to be done see now where to where from where to delete delete from your head node so if your head is equal to is equal to null so what would you print return null okay something i need to type fast yeah uh, i can also do return zero but return null is also good so node temp would point to our head node okay now head would be head dot next and uh, you would return temp dot data simple okay so this was your linked list on implementation of your linked list so if we do this first of all i don't want these imports i also don't want this i would be doing my cow implementation of cow is equal to new my cow implementation q dot nq i forgot this one 12 nq uh, 55 dot n q 65 okay so if we do uh dq it should uh print 12 yeah and now if we again call this method it should print 55 so are this class is working properly okay so this was your implementation of your kyo interface so i hope you all like this video and do share with your friends so that they also have a better understanding of it thanks for watching